Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1 Fathead Candy Roth. We're looking at 50s, balmy, rainy, cloudy. I love so, balmy. It could be one of my favorite words. Could you imagine we get through the rest of winter here? I mean, the way it is, it's uh, the, the whole week looks to be upper 30s, low 40s this week. So I'll take it. I'm not complaining at all. Yeah, we're going to have a couple days of 50s here in a row. And then uh, doesn't look to be that cold that crazy not like around christmas let's just let's just go with it and not not jinx anything yeah i know seriously uh so yeah if you're just joining us we are um uh we have rolled through some of our uh, vacation stories from uh the break candy uh we we uh you know candy and i we have uh, not been together for quite some time we're thankful that you are here joining us in the new year and we are uh excited to be back of course and uh, plenty of uh, new big things going on, um, and you had asked off the air, Candy, how uh, how my How's family's your yeah they they seem to be uh, doing okay. My mother uh, today has a huge uh, dental surgery beginning. Oh, uh, what's going on? Uh, well, did did I tell you the story? She went to the dentist, and her um, oh, I, I'm gonna get probably some of this wrong but like one of her crowns or bridges that had been in her mouth for over 40 years or something like fell apart or some oh, something ow. crazy right yes and she has a bunch of teeth pulling and implants over the next like half a oh. year that are going to be oh. happening here so wow yeah and that begins today for Ouch. For mommy. <laughs> oh, so. I'm sorry for mommy. Yeah, so Dental she is... work stinks. Oh, my God. Stinks. I have to have a few things taken care of this year. I'll get over there. I see my nose, ear, nose, and throat doctor tomorrow. Hopefully, one of my final visits, and you can see I'm much better. Can you hear me? Hey, can I, you know, you said, I didn't hear one sniffle this morning. No! You sound amazing. It's really come a long way. It, I, it was totally worth it, like many people told me. I'm sleeping with my mouth closed and breathing through my nose. It's like a new awakening for me. I love it. I am very happy for you. That is Yes, yeah, so great. anyone who is considering it, it was successful for me, and I'm quite happy with the results. That is, well, good for you. Uh, yeah. Candy, I'm going to give you another health tip going into the new year, okay? Okay. Um, you know how we're supposed to drink water, obviously. Yes. Are you telling me water's no good for us now? Nope, nope, nope. It's fine. Researchers track people's health for 25 years. Patients were over 45 when the study started. And the least hydrated people were 50% more likely to show signs of early aging, uh, or sorry, early aging, sunken eyes, sunken cheeks, and dry skin. Uh, people who were not hydrated also showed more high cholesterol and high blood pressure oh, than my other goodness. Give people. Give me some water right now. So the whole story, not to get too detailed about the uh, the study, uh, but the whole study is basically saying everything you ever thought about drinking water is absolutely true. Drink as much, you know. You can't. Well, you we could... are made mostly of water, so it makes perfect sense. Right now, you, there are times I've heard of people over drinking and getting like sick. You can't like there's there's a limit. I don't know if you remember when Wendy Williams passed out during a live, you know, show. This is okay. going back a few years, okay? And they said she was dehydrated, and she said, "Well, I drank a big glass of water." The thing is, she drank it all at once. And they said, that's not, no, that doesn't keep you hydrated. You have to sip water throughout the day. Right. So if you think, oh, well, I drank a big bottle of water this morning. No, not enough. That's right. You got to keep going uh, all day. Absolutely. You don't have to drink large amounts all day, but you have to drink all day. Yes. Drink, drink, drink. Drink, Uh, drink, drink. Candy, I have two national days for you. It is National Chocolate Covered Cherry Day. Hey, nothing wrong with that. And National Drinking Straw Day. Do we still use straws in this well, society? I was going to say, um, I'm all for the environment, but can the one thing, like you want to get rid of plastic in everything else, that's fine. Can I please keep my plastic straw? 
please? You may. It's in my world, you may. Those uh, paper straws, they, they're horrible. They fall apart. They fall apart. You, they're Absolutely. like a one-sip trick. Absolutely. You, you want to put my, uh, you know, drinks and sell things in different types of containers? Fine. Please keep my, uh, my regular straws. Just ab and I'll see what I, I could do with the big guy. I don't know if you, uh, I don't know if we've ever spoken about this. I've been told by my family and a couple of friends that have been out to eat with me that I sip through a straw very strange. Really? Uh, yes, I, I like the way I sip a drink out of like I take these little sips and like it looks like the whole thing is very funny looking, I've been told. And Dana has even told me, look, you go out to a lot of lunches with record labels and Please things. Don't and whatever. drink out of a straw. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's You're like, embarrassing me. Be, be careful. What yes. Yeah, so, you win over there. I don't know. I'll have to have somebody watch me next time and, and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Uh, it's National Drinking Straw Day. Uh, Candy, some good news. A guy in Massachusetts, <laughs> I know you hate these. He stopped to get gas, uh, bought a All lottery, lottery ticket. ticket, scratched off. Now he's he, a millionaire. He did. He won a million dollars. He so did. So sick of these stories. A couple in Pennsylvania celebrated their 80th wedding anniversary. They're both 80th wedding anniversary. They're both 102. Whoa. They met in high school, 1936. Whoa. They got married the day after Christmas, 1942. And yeah, so they're 80. I think 80 yeah. years. 80 Whoa. years. Um, you heard about all the problems with Southwest over the holidays? I did, and I was very happy I wasn't going anywhere. And by the way, I'm sure there were other airlines, but you, like the other airlines were probably so thankful that Southwest had such issues because it took the spotlight off of them. It sure did. I mean, there was weddings that people couldn't get to. There were all kinds of things. It was It was terrible, really yeah. terrible. What happened there? Well, uh, one of the issues was a college kid who got stuck in Denver on Christmas Eve, she did eventually make it home after her parents jumped in the car, and drove 1,100 miles from California. They picked her up and drove her back home 1,100 miles, oh, Candy. Now that's family. You do what you got to do, right? You do what you got to do. And how about this? Two days before Christmas, a 27-year-old Jay uh, Withy got stranded near Buffalo during the big blizzard that came through. And we've you know, already spoken about that. A lot of lives lost, right? Um, he smashed a window of a school to get out of the storm. He found 24 more people stranded on the road, brought them all to the school. He pried open the kitchen door to get people food, found blankets in the nurse's office. They were there for about 24 hours. And before wow. they left, he wrote a note to the police apologizing, say, you know, sorry, we broke in. We had to stay alive. Not only did the cops track him down, but they thanked him and gave him some kind of commendation or something because he saved all those people's lives. Kid. Amazing. That's a great story, and I'm glad they, they handled it properly. Yes, absolutely incredible. Uh, Candy, have a great rest of your Tuesday, by the way. You do the same. Tomorrow I might be a little cranky because I have to go for blood work, so I have to fast during the show. Mm, I'll make sure to, uh, you know. Kind of stick it to you a little bit, all right? Oh, wonderful. I, I was yeah. hoping it's I'll be extra nice, but no, no, no. Yes, and keep in mind, it is Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. This week's going to fly yes. by, all right? Yes, that's a good thing. We're going to be in the 50s. Uh, we're going to be cloudy. We're going to be rainy. But boy, I mean, the temperature is just something else. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.